So, in this video, we will be talking about a short introduction of Laura Mulvey's Lemiel Gay Theory. Laura Mulvey's Lemiel Gay Theory talks about women in the media are viewed from the eyes of a heterosexual man, and they are represented as party objects of male desire. The male audience are the target audience, so their needs are met first. Overall, men do the looking and women are there to be looked at. Nevertheless, the theory of the male gaze stems from a male-driven movie industry. In 1970s, Hollywood was a long-established male-driven movie industry. Therefore, it had a large number of male executives and male directors. These male executives and male directors made films for male audience. Male audience could get sexual pressure from looking at naked bodies of female, and these producers know that sex sold, so they intended to film more sexualized representations of female. Hence, this situation led to overly sexualized representations of female in movie industry. Hollywood currently still views female from a masculine and heterosexual point of view that present female as objects of male pressure frequently. Therefore, the camera lens is taking a masculine point of view. For example, audience can see females' bodies are highlighted in movies, and we can see this situation in the movie they watch. Why does she always look like she's running in slow mo? You see it to the end. Like your grandma's underwear? Comparing with male characters, female characters tend to wear little. Hence, in general, we can see that male characters are there to be looked at by male characters and male audience. Although we see more women's independence and empowerment in movies nowadays, such as Mad Max Fury Road and The Hunger Games, we still can see women in extremely sexual manners. For instance, Transformers franchise. Hey, beautiful. I like to go faster. It looks like your uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. The female characters in this franchise are sexualized and the way they are represented has no relevance to the storyline. Therefore, the aim of these female characters is to please the male audience, especially heterosexual male audience. Overall, the male gaze causes the distorted depiction of the world and woman. That's all from me for now. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe below. Leave a comment and check out our other videos. This has been me, Yiro Zhou from Media Pool. Thanks for watching.